The Scoop Squad Truth Squad would like to thank our sponsors. Those include Chris Walters at Integrity Insurance, featuring auto, home, life, business, workers' compensation, and pet insurance. Pet insurance, you say? That's health insurance for your dogs or cats that cover special foods, illnesses, surgeries, and medication. They're on 16 Capitol Street in Charleston at 346-9181 or reach them at www.iigwv.com. Also by Jody's Mobile Services, offering steam cleaning, pressure washing, fleet washing, and auto detailing. We come to you. They're at 304-437-3164. And also by Eggplant on Bridge Road. Anything but ordinary. Go to eggplantshop.com. Also by T-Graphics on the west side. 312 Buchanan Street, 345-4816. Go to tgraphics.com for screen printing and embroidery since 1984. Again at 345-4816. The opinions expressed on Scoop Squad Coupon are those of the hosts and the guests, not those of WVRC Media. Scoop Squad Truth Pod is copyright 2023 Scoop Squad Truth Squad LLC. Welcome to the Scoop Squad Truth Pod. I'm your host, Ashley Switzer, and we are a podcast. I'm here with Ron. Ron is pointing to himself. I was going to get to you. What? Well, I just thought just get all everybody introduced out of the way. And... Can I, can I, you always interrupt my intro. I, I have know, these huge intros planned. I have, I have quite a streak going. This is what I was going to say. This is how a professional deals with issues you know i was gonna say we are a hyper we are a podcast that is hyper focused on hyper local politics see that was a mouthful and mm-hmm. and i and, you, and you interrupt me my god got it out yeah we're joined here in the studio by uh with adam knopf he is a frequent guest and contributor to the podcast ron hughes is also a contributor but he's also our executive producer so i take the blame for you know anything that structurally you know is, is a little off kilter yeah whatever. or off color or off color yeah which i try not to be <laughs> so we've got two guests in the studio we are going to talk a little bit this evening i someone please remind me to give um a little bit of an update on the board of education meeting can someone jot that down because i do want to touch on that um and there was something else i want to touch on i can't remember i'll look at my notes um, but we've got commissioner josh stowers in the studio with us so we are also going to talk with Jeremy, give me his last name. Severin. 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 And Jeremy is with Save Coonskin. Park. Park. Exclamation mark. Exclamation point. It's important. It is important. Yeah, so it, it changes how you say it. Save Coonskin Park. Like, you got to say it like that. It ends in an exclamation Well, point. when you go on Facebook and find the group, yeah. you know, you want to be sure you get the one with exclamation mark. Oh, there okay. isn't any other ones. But, okay, gotcha. You know. oh, wow. All right, so we're going to talk to him a little bit later. We're going to find out what that's all about. Because I've seen the signs everywhere um, for quite a while, and I have wanted to, to get somebody on to talk about it. So I'm, thank, you, thank you for coming in. And, Josh, thank you for driving from Lincoln County. This is your second visit to the Scoop Squad. It is. We had you on so back in May. Um, well, after that was you, wasn't it? It was me. Okay. <laughs> Back in May when you had just, we had had, you had that huge rainstorm. Mm-hmm. Did you guys get all that cleaned up and we everything did. back to working? We have a new roof, roof on the, uh, on the courthouse. On the courthouse. And, okay. And uh, it's, it's repaired. Good. Um, I was also going to ask you about, there was an issue with the assessor and the sheriff. Has, mm-hmm. that, has that move taken place? No, it didn't. Okay. Uh, we, we resolved it. Uh, Long, not that you want to spend much time talking about that issue, but it's it's resolved. The uh, the the move between the sheriff and the assessor did not occur. Okay. Uh, essentially, uh, you know, it was it was costing a lot of money to litigate that. Yes. Um, we were just trying to find a solution for the sheriff to have this additional space that he needed. So essentially, what we have done um, is the commission has moved uh, their office space. Uh, oh. Given the well, it, it that that your moved, administrative space. Okay. Correct. Um, we've, th- the move has not occurred just yet. Um, there is some space upstairs on the second floor mm-hmm. that, uh, was not being, uh, uh, wasn't being utilized. So we're going to move the, 
commission's administrative space upstairs, which is essentially just space for our county administrator and some records, um, and give the sheriff our space, which is adjacent to his office. Okay. Um, and it's not uh, the it, it's a better situation than he had. It's not the best of situations mm-hmm. that I th- think we could have achieved. But again, at the end of the day, we were bleeding a lot of money in some needless litigation that. Yeah. Uh, I didn't just I just didn't want to burn any more taxpayers' yeah. money. Well, that, on that sounds so, very wise. Uh, so that that uh, that issue has been for the most part resolved. Okay, well that's excellent. Um, so the reason I asked you here was because last week we talked with the mayor of Hamlin, David Adkins. David yeah, David yes. Flimsy Adkins. Yes, um, and w- also a citizen that mm-hmm. lived next to. Um, the site, correct. The health department, the, health, the new health department site, and and last in May, I went back and listened to our podcast with you in May, and you were pretty excited about this this new health department, and and when last May you were talking that it was almost done, like it was it was getting, mm-hmm. it was coming to completion. Mm-hmm. What has happened? Last well, week we heard from the mayor. Um, we've heard that the building has been was condemned when it when it came to the site. Um, we've seen pictures um, of the the mobile um, unit on cinder blocks. We we know in that three the, sections. It's kind of like right, a, right. Not not like a mobile home, but modular. Yeah, a modular and modular commercial modular unit, facility. Right, which is not um, which has has failed inspections. I, I'm assuming that. Um, one thing I do want to clear up that, that I talked about on the podcast last week, we, we talked about the County commission, like it was your project, right? That got lost in translation somewhere because this health department and all of this contract and this mobile uh, modular was actually, um, the health deport health department board of directors. Am I correct? It was their project. They came to you and got the money, the ARP money from the County commission, um, and then they proceeded with the the project. Correct. Yeah, and I, I think there's a lot to unpack from 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 the show last week. Um, you, you mentioned you know, you know what's happened since May. There's a lot of things that happened since May, um, but a couple of things, and you alluded to one of them that I wanted to clear up is you know this is not a a county commission project. What you can look at this as being is it's it's a county commission funded project. It's our, we're funding this with our ARPA funds, right? Uh, which is which are one federal of the main, American Rescue Plan, correct? Funds. And and it's and, you know the two main purposes for these ARPA funds were health and economic development. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, essentially, the health department came to us and and put the application forward you know, for a new health department facility. As I alluded to last time I was here, the current or the old health department was absolutely deplorable. Mm-hmm. Um, but nonetheless, you, know, you can you That's can look the at the building that was torn down correct. to make room for this one. Correct. Okay. So you can look at this as something along the lines of if if we were going to f- help fund a water line extension, you know, we don't build the water lines. We don't. You know, we 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 help fund it through a PSD uh, that will go out and bid it out, get the contracts, manage the project. Um, it's not a county commission project. But we, when we you get when you agreed it. to give them the money, did did you know they were going to? I mean, you just said, here's the money, and you go get the bids, and you decide no, who. No, we didn't release the funds. Okay. What, basically, what, what we did is they came to us with the project, mm-hmm. and we asked, you know, obviously, you know, have you, you know, have you bid this out yet? They just had a, a concept that they wanted. They wanted to tear the old one down and, and put a new facility in place. And there was a price tag they gave you, right? They came there, to the commission f- with a price tag. Well, they, they, they first came with, with, with the idea. Okay. And then we told them, you know, you know spec this out. You know, for for the facility. I mean, it's a healthcare facility. It's not going to be a, you know, as has been alluded to in the past, a trailer or a double wide that you can just go by, and 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 put on site. This was a spec'd out, you know, healthcare facility, mm-hmm. um, with examining rooms, with lab space. Right. Um, it Had it been used as a health <clears throat> health facility before in the past? No, it's a new building. It's oh, was a, it was it new? It's new. Is and, the and mobile unit or is the modular the, unit new? And it's one of the things I wanted to clear up. You know, one yeah. of the things that, and I'm not, I have no idea where people get their information mm-hmm. about the age of the unit. Um, I've heard 10 years, 14 years. Uh, the inspection that you just alluded to, which you know, I think it's a little bit misleading to say it, it was condemned. It's not been condemned. Um, the, the facility was being part of the project. And mm-hmm. one of the things I requested from the health department when they were asking for funding was, is 
is a part of this going to be when the building is completed or when the manufacturer places the building on the property, will there be a final inspection to make sure that everything was completed? Uh -huh. Because I'm not going to release all the funds until that's the case. Mm -hmm. I had them set up a draw schedule mm -hmm. that essentially uh, at the end said this none of the final draw would be released mm -hmm. until everything was completed. Uh, all of the money still hasn't been released because all of the all of the property hasn't been completely completely it has finished not by. been completed. But but to that point in in the inspection, I brought copies. Okay, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure what anybody's provided with you other than just you know words and text and allegations. But I've actually brought facts here. Okay, um, so you've got the actual cool. engineering report here um, that states on page two the age of the building is estimated to be one year. Okay, can, can this I have is a copy an independent of that? engineer? Okay. Uh, independent engineering firm uh, that, Adam, you want one too? Uh, oh, that was brought uh, that was brought out to do that. So that is that, that the only copy? That yeah, that's okay. my copy. That's 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 he's the engineer, we'll pass it so we will, we'll let <laughs> um, him look at it. Well, let's uh, keep in mind it's industrial, right? It's not right. civil <laughs> engineering. <laughs> um, so one th one point it's I want to train engineering. You should really <laughs> when they, when the health department board came to you, mm -hmm. you did the the commission tell them how much money was available for this project? We gave them a. Uh, we gave them a cap. Okay. Uh, you know, we, we said, you know, you, you, we're not, uh, you know, we have, we, we only, you know, we're small county. We only had X amount of dollars in opera funds mm -hmm. allocated to us. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we gave them a cap. They had a rough idea of what they felt it would cost mm -hmm. um, before they bid this out. And so we well, gave them a cap. Now, there's been a lot of other things thrown around here. And, I, and again, you know, I, I'm not sure if anybody gave I, gave you anything that indicated anything other than just, you know, their words. But, um, you know, $800,000 is uh, a flat out uh, mistruth. Okay. Um, I have the sales agreement right here. Sales agreement, $518,000. A little bit less than 800000 right. right? But yes. I, I think they were including the preparation and um, the, the ground preparation and not just the, not just the, uh, the the purchasing agreement, but the okay. preparation and well, how much and what has you have I think it's easy to, to into it. uh, how much have they been given so far? How much has the commission given the health department or health, given the health department for this project so far? Do you have that today? I don't have it down to the penny, but okay. it's a little bit over forty or four hundred thousand um, because we've not uh, we've not given the last draw okay. because there was because work that there's to work come to, come to, be to be done. Okay. Right. Well, have you so. seen the the pictures of the the steel uh -huh. underneath? Yeah, um, Mr. Messenger pretty came, disturbing. Mr. Messenger came to a county commission meeting, presented those, and uh, um, you know, we, you know, he had the floor, gave him the floor for over half an hour to speak at the county commission meeting, uh, heard his concerns, told him that those would be given to the health department and to the engineering firm that did the inspection, um, and you know, all of that was taken into consideration with, you know, with with the right. inspection. Right. I mean, just done. it just doesn't look safe just from the from okay, the outside. So, it, so if you don't. If you don't mind, let me grab No, you grab it. Go ahead. As the other the other piece I wanted to point out when you when people are saying that this was an eight hundred thousand dollar fourteen year old building that was unsafe. I think we've clarified it wasn't eight hundred thousand dollars. It wasn't fourteen years old. It's one year old. Well that's seven hundred you gave me a number of seven hundred and fifty thousand last week when we talked. Was, what was that? That was the cap that we gave them. Okay. That was not the actual cost. Okay. Okay. We we felt that that was plenty sufficient. Wiggle room and all Not, that. This is how much we're going to give you carte blanche. Okay. Right. This is this is a space that we we believe that we could give you, you know, but go out and get bids to, you know, to, to justify the cost. Okay. D to your point about unsafe, and this is straight from an engineering report, and you know, others can break this down however they want. Uh, and I'm reading this, you know, verbatim from the engineering report. It says at this time the conditions observed are not considered to be significant as to affect the structural integrity of the building with regards to safety. That's straight from an engineering well, report. I, I understand so, that. But hold on. I'm, I just, I'm, yep, go ahead. I've, I listened to a lot of things last week, um, and, and there were a lot of mistruths there. And I'm not giving you just words, which I'm not sure if anybody else you know, gave you anything other than just allegations or other than just a text message or other than just experience, you know, what, they what they've seen and what they ex have experienced. So you're right. you're right. But this, these are you know, a sales agreement that uh -huh. was signed by our yeah, health I got department it. I'm director. I'm looking at okay. it right now. Just so you know, it's for five hundred eighteen thousand one hundred fifty-five dollars. It's, not a, 155 it's not a county commission project. Mm -hmm. This was something that was done by the health department. Here is the engineering report that says it was one year old and it wasn't unsafe. Now, 
I will say this. Has everything been perfect with this project? I'm not here to say that. No. Building things are difficult. They are difficult. There are overages. There are issues that come along with building things. Mm-hmm. You, know, there, there, you know, you just had a beautiful new school built here in Kanawha County at Hoover. How many things went wrong up there or how many missteps or how many how many challenges they have right. to work through? It happens when you build things, right? Mm-hmm. One of the other challenges that we had in the middle of this was that Sam Souter, who was our health department director for years, who was leading this charge, who was in charge of this project, he became gravely ill. Mm-hmm. This building was starting to be delivered last, don't quote me on this, I want to say about the middle of October last year, around maybe November of oh, last really? year. Okay. Sam became gravely ill uh, in the winter of last year, or actually the winter time of this year, around January. Uh, didn't really let anybody know that he was that he was ill. Serious, uh, seriously uh, ill. Became so seriously ill he had to put be be placed in assisted living. Still trying to run this project from his computer in an assisted living facility, and subsequently, unfortunately, passed away uh, just a few months ago. Mm-hmm. So you had the individual who was basically leading the charge who had all of this information who who was you know in charge of this project uh not not on site mm-hmm. not available now what happens with that i'm sure that, that there were corners probably cut by the contractor mm-hmm. I'm, well let me say this i don't want to make that allegation i'm just saying there wasn't anybody there to no, overseeing it overseeing the way no, no site foreman mm-hmm. correct because obviously from the condition of not just the steel girders but the uh, the the concrete. I mean, I'm sorry. The cinder block platforms that are shimmed. I mean, I mean, I would hope right. those were going to be left there permanently. Permanently, but it didn't. According to Alvin, it just didn't appear to be even. Like the doors wouldn't open uh, on the inside. I mean, were they going to leave it that way with with shims? Yeah, I mean, we have so, had first so person account with you know who people who have been in the building and seen the building. Okay, and, and so so with this again, the inspection that was given, you know at on August 27th, yeah. this is when we got it. It was four main recommendations. Mm-hmm. Now, the ones that were in within the scope of contract, the scope of the contract with Mobile Modular, which was the manufacturer that mm-hmm. that the building was purchased from. Mm-hmm. Um, again, they've not been you given complete payment because we had money set back for retainage. They were sent this. They sent back a detailed response of what was in the scope of contract and what they will take care of. Two weeks ago, they came back on site with a full team to address the issues that were laid out in this. Mm-hmm. Um, we are going to have the firm come back and reinspect once not just this, but the other pieces are completed that 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 outlines needs to be taken care of to make sure that the pieces are taken care of. So you know we're holding the manufacturer accountable for something that uh, you know if there were anything that went uh, awry because you know. Unfortunately, our health department director wasn't there. Right. And we've taken control of the project. Was, was there any, like, site? Um, I mean, I would think there would be, like, a, maybe somebody with the county, you know, that would that would be a, a, a site foreman that would be overseeing everything. Just that, th- that was I mean, the, the health department director. This was their project. He was. He was the know, foreman? He, he was leading. I mean, okay. he was the one that was managing the project. Hmm. Okay. Now, now when, when the city inspected it, I, I guess, or the, or the city you know, claims that there's certain failures to, uh, to get building permits um, mm-hmm. on that and right. that they were buffaloed uh, on, on that as well. Uh, not only building permits, but the fact that there's, you know, a, uh, uh, an ordinance, uh, and I think every city has this, about having uh, an ordinance against having manufactured housing, uh, okay. in this case, manufactured office space in the city. So two things to address both your points. Okay. Number one, uh, regarding the building permit. Um, I've, and I've, and I've, told, I've, I've told the mayor this. I've told members of the town council this. If, the, if a building permit was not paid by the health department, uh, the county would be more than happy to pay for the building permit. Secondly... To, to a point about a building permit. Uh, I'm not saying that this is what, you know, Mr. Souter's belief was, but in the past, I can only speak for the county. If another governmental entity is building a structure, we don't charge them a building permit. For instance, you know, we have a new, we have a, we have a school that mm-hmm. is basically condemned, the old Duval High School. All those I, kids are I having get to you. truck to Hamlin. Yeah, I know what you're they saying. They put out those bids. Mm-hmm. We get calls from contractors asking the county, um, should we factor in a building permit for our bid. We say, no, this is for the Board of Education. Don't worry about that. So Sam may have presumed that the, the, the town wasn't going to charge the county or the health department 
But nonetheless, if they want a building permit paid, we'd be more than happy to pay it. Just, just out of my I, my own ignorance, but I, I know a lot of cities have a building inspector who would be basically in charge of making sure that this is if it was any other company, was, mm-hmm. was there a building inspector that was allowed to be on the property to look at it from the city? I don't believe the, 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 the city employs a building inspector. So it's just a hmm. building permit is all you – when you get a building permit, you just – You just get the pay, just piece, of a piece of paper. You just get a piece of not paper that says you're, you're not permitted getting, to yeah. build this structure. So right. you're not getting somebody that would actually inspect it on behalf of the city. No. So the city council, did they vote to sue you guys? No, hold on. Oh. I want to address Mons. Sorry, I'm like I'm jumping. Throw out the second yeah. Piece yeah, go ahead. About an ordinance re- regarding yes. modulars. If you read, mm-hmm. if you read the ordinance. The mayor came to a county commission meeting. It wasn't a part of the official meeting. It was after we had adjourned, and he had said mm-hmm. something about you can't put that building up there. And we asked, you know, what was the issue? And he said, well, we have an ordinance uh, that that is that that says that you can't put a modular within the town. Well, right. Uh, I said, show me the ordinance. I said, I'm not, I mean, I said, you know, it's a heck of a time to bring this up after the building, the building's already been here. We had this as a standing item on a commission meeting for, for months. Uh, the, the mayor was even there a couple of times, didn't mention anything. Um, but nonetheless, I said, bring us the ordinance. I had, I had our prosecutor at the time, general counsel, look at it. It specifically addresses residential. It yes. doesn't say commercial. It doesn't say hmm. health care. It says residential. I did they make that correction on the Facebook page because people, people were confused about that. And, right. and, and, and But I, I took him at his word. I said, show me the ordinance. I'll take it to council and see, see what he thinks. He said, this isn't going to hold up. It specifically says residential. It doesn't say anything about commercial. It doesn't say anything about health care. So, so that's an omission. So mm-hmm. so what's that? Right. I, that's just an omission on the city's part. Right. Well, but it was specific that it says residential. It mm-hmm. wasn't just omitting. Mm-hmm. No, uh, no, that's what I mean. They right. When they wrote the ordinance, um, you know, they just assumed everything. And probably written back in the days when, you know, all of those things were residential, I'm, I'm guessing. So that's, I would, I would, that would be up to them after the fact to, to fix uh, that. To fix that. But it, it would be too late now because I'd say your grandfather – you know, for what my legal opinion is worth, I'd say you'd be grandfathered in. I, I, that appears to be, you know, what our council believes as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but nonetheless, again, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of inflammatories being thrown around about a building that is, uh, it, that from the get go has been nothing but well intended. Right. We want yeah, to get nobody's a structure. questioning that it's, for it's sure. Gotten, I could tell it's gotten, you know, pretty emotional. I, I guess um, especially with, with Alvin's uh, concern about the runoff from the building sure. coming through his property and, and there's no silt fence. I've, I've, I've had conversations with a couple of city council members and said, look, I'm, look, I'm, I'm, I'm as, try to be as open and transparent as, as possible. If there were mistakes that were made, if there were issues that were caused by uh, the contractors, you know, if the if the clearing of those trees is a problem, if we need to go in and and figure out what we can do about the drainage, let's do it. Let's sit down and talk together. Um, I've and but they've the, the, they've taken this so far rather than just adults sitting down at the table right. and saying, "Hey, we got a challenge here. We have a health department director that unfortunately passed away. We have a project that has some challenges. Let's figure out how we can we can work on this together." Um, do you there's, think the DEP should have involved when it can, when it comes to that? I mean, it seems like they always get involved when there's any kind of drainage. I, um, I can't speak for the DEP regulations. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm I didn't know sure. if they had to be consulted on something like this where you're likely to have drainage. Again, I'm, I'm not an experienced project manager. I don't know when DEP should be consulted on, on mm-hmm. certain mm-hmm. matters or not. Um, but, but nonetheless, if there's drainage issues that, that, that Do are, you think that, there's somebody qualified on the project to make those corrections? So, so here we are. I'm, I think we have, you know, from my standpoint, I'd like to get everybody just to sit down around the table and say, hey, how do we, what do we go from, how, mm-hmm. where do we go here? Where do, because you, do you have plans my to do that? Are, my feelings are, here we are, we've been cited by the town. They've retained an attorney, to your point. I heard that. Um, mm-hmm. I, there's, there, there's been rumors about a cease and desist on any improvements. Um, you know, should we proceed with any type of, 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 of renovations or upgrades, um, there's a lot of confusion going on. There because, is a lot of because confusion. once you get attorneys involved, yeah. Once you get the legal system involved, it it grinds everything to a halt. Yeah. And I, right. you know, look. At the and end the, of the longer day, this sits, the more money it's going to cost. Sure. I would and, think. And, and it's, and and frankly, I'll just call it what it is. 
it's, it is just it is just Lincoln County politics at its worst, mm-hmm. and it's what you know I have at least for most. Do of you my, think so? My, I do. I absolutely do. And I you know and I'm gonna I'm gonna say something here, and I'm not. And this is probably gonna upset both of you all. Um, but I'm talking gonna, your mic so we can hear. I want to hear it. But I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm just gonna <laughs> say so I can this. get my ad. You know, this is this is the second time I've had to come on this show, and I appreciate. I, I truly appreciate the opportunity to come on yeah. and clear the air and have the opportunity. I, I do from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it. But it's the second time I've had to come on here and clear up uh, inflammatories and mistruths and just, you know, just, just, you know, just flat out falsehoods mm-hmm. that nobody's given you any real information on. They send you texts. They, they well, call you, I, I have on. to defend us because we, we got more than that. We did have pictures. We did have lengthy okay. discussions with with the gentleman about. Alan Messinger he, he's is, an engineer. He does know what he's talking about. So we okay. did. And I've seen not, his certification too. It's not like, yeah. hey, I used to work for a bridge company. Okay. You know, he he is certified in steel. Now, did you but, listen to him? Do you feel like I, he had good I points? Did, listen, I, I, the, the first podcast you uploaded didn't have his segment on there for some reason. Yes, it, it was. We we so we had to I redo didn't hear it. Him, right. But he did come to a county commission. But le- but let me say this. Yes. I'm, and I'm just I'm just going to say it. Yes. I'm not making any allegations here. But you know, one of your main sponsors now is the individual who is going to uh, more than likely run against me in a county commission race. I do not think that it is a coincidence that uh, this has been brought up twice. You know, allegations. Who is that? You know, within uh, Jody Pastore, and he is uh, oh. you know, he is a main sponsor of yours. Ron, you sat here and read text messages from him the last time I was on here that had no evidence to back up from. And look, I'm, I am an open book. You can ask me whatever you want. But to allow you know people to come on this show and make allegations that are unfounded before you, give, you, you, you reach out to me or whomever it may be and, and get the other side to this yeah. before it's aired, because here's what's happened. In the last week... Your show, you guys got a lot of listeners. We do. You do. We I mean, do. I'm not going to deny that. You, but yep, what happens, right. these folks, you know, they, they go on here and then they share your episode online. They yeah. share it on Facebook and wherever. And guess what? What? People hear it and they do believe it. Right. And it's not right. true. And so now guess what? I've spent the last week cleaning up a bunch of allegations that aren't true, that are not factual. And I've, and I've shown you whether or not. Yeah. And mm-hmm. all I'm asking is you're probably going to get more calls. You're probably going to get more texts. From people trying to dig up all kinds of stuff on whoever else, me or anybody else in the county, yeah. where I think, you know, ulterior motives. The only thing I ask you, respectfully, is that you reach out to me or whomever they're talking about yeah. prior to allowing them to come on here and make those claims. Because you've got people out in Lincoln County now who think that the county commission has bought some trash trailer for $800,000 that's unsafe. And it ain't true. And it's because well, you let somebody come yeah. on here. Has it passed and, inspection? Well, we, we let the uh, mayor come on. Has it passed inspection? I mean, it is, we it, did. You have, you have an inspection here that says it's not unsafe. It's not unsafe. It's unfinished. Okay? Okay. And it's not $800,000. How long is it going to be to till it's finished? And who knows how long this legal this legal mess is okay. going to take. I wish it would have been fixed a long time ago. What, why are the, what is the basis for the legal issue? What's the lawsuit? There is no lawsuit, first off. Okay. There's, they have retained an attorney that, you know, the, the city has cited the county, which I think were the wrong venue for that. I think the health department is probably the proper one, but that's fine. Is the, the is the health department an agent of the county or it, is it appointed, are they appointed by the again, county? I'm not, I'm not sure about, you know, I'm not an attorney, but you know, if the PSD did something, you know, do you, do you, do you sue the county? I'm not sure, but nonetheless, we've, we've, we've had citations. Uh, that, that says the building is 14 years old with, again, nothing to back it up. Here it says it's one year old. We've had a citation for the building permit, which I've said I'm more than happy to pay. Uh, and I'm well, not, I just can't believe that. So you're the, saying the, that the, the shape of that steel doesn't look like a one year old building. Yeah. It's, those flanges have been pried up and rusted. I mean, do you, do you not? I know what my eyes say. I, I mean, I, okay. I believe you have an engineering report. I'm not saying you're a liar and I'm not saying they're a liar. I'm just saying my eyes tell me that steel's been manhandled pretty bad again it's one i have an engineer report that says it's a year old mm-hmm. i have no one i have, I have you know, oh, well, no I, I, other. and i don't doubt that parts of it are a year are, are a year old i mean so you mayor say it is, well I, I just i need to address something mayor adkins mayor david adkins from hamlin came on here and lied is that what you're telling us i didn't say that he's a liar i didn't mm-hmm. say that don't put words in my mouth i'm saying that there is a lot of information that has been floated out there that is not true okay and he very well may believe it but i'm saying that you you you've 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 allowed facts 
to be put out here. You have, you've allowed mistruths to be put out in the air. And now you have citizens, which if I didn't know any different, I would believe too that, that, that we have a trailer, which is a bad assertion. It is a modular four piece building Mm -hmm. that is, that was specced for a healthcare facility, which is not uncommon. Mm -hmm. And you, it did not cost $800,000. It is not unsafe by engineering standards. Uh, and it is not 14 years old. I, but I don't that, but those we, are the facts that have that people believe are true because you all you let because people you come all, on or we because we because we contacted the mayor of Hamlin, no, he, who is contact, a credible. He contacted, he contacted us. us, which is a credible source. I mean, if a ma- if you can't count on a mayor, okay, so, to bring you council. information so, and so city council, so why not call before you let someone come on and make those claims? Why not look at the ask well, others the other side of this? Because again, I don't care to come we did, on. We can, did reach out to you, but in the in the scope of a one after hour the fact, podcast, after the after it's already out there for right, the world because to consume. We're, we let people tell their story. Yeah, we do. When they can't go anywhere else, we let no them matter come if they're here. not true. We don't know that they're not true. We we, we don't know that they're not true. But at least reach out to the other source we, and and, we did and try re- to get a full scope. We did reach out to you to get because to bring that's what you journalists do. We're not we're not journalists. We don't claim to be. You I'm know, not a journalist. journalist. I'm would, a teacher and a mom and a wife and a I'm, grandmother. I'm, I'm, I am not a journalist. Is, but there is a responsibility when you know that this show is going to be heard by a lot of people. There's a responsibility to try and make sure that the facts are correct. And I'm not, again. And and you know what, Josh? That's what we're doing. Right. Okay. That's so why we wanted to that's have That's what you we're doing. I, I you have, no, you have I, a voice just like anybody else. We didn't want to ignore you. We, she reached out to you while and this the, was going and on. The first, and the first thing I said was, I appreciate being able to come on here. Right. Yeah. But the fact that. I'm that, not that, going to sift through. I'm going to let people talk. I really am. I'm just going to. I'm, I'm not saying not to let people talk. I'm, let me just put it this way. Okay. Letting people talk without looking at the full picture and it being consumed by the general public is not responsible. Because there's facts out there that that are that people believe now that but, people believe now that are not true. Well, now they're going to get to hear that this is side. not my now fault. Now they're going to get to hear your side of the story. <laughs> Listen, we put every got... single perspective out there. Okay, we don't we don't we don't pick and choose who we have on this show. If the mayor of Hamlin calls and wants wants to tell his story, we're going to let him tell it. Okay. And then we're going to let the citizens of Lincoln County do I've, their own research. Right. I've got two credible people. I've got a guy that lives next door to that site with mm-hmm. a video that he sent to me of all the water coming off there damaging his property. There's no sure. evidence yeah. of a silt fence. I see the pictures of the trees cut sure. irresponsibly. Whether that's the health department's fault. And, and guess what, fault. Josh? Now you, people are, are talking about it. Chain, and so I've the, said, and I've said that. And we maybe will something that. will get done. But but there is a lot of false information out there. Is all I'm saying. Okay. Uh, and, I'm, and, well, and, we did. And and all yeah. I'm saying is it, it. I don't believe it's coincidental that you know one of your main sponsors is a gentleman that's going to run against me. That's all I'm going to say about it. Okay. That's fine. That's well, fine. that was a big scoop. It was. And let me just say we something else. We may only else. have time for two scoops Yeah, today. let me just say something else. Because I did listen to, and this kind of goes along with what you're saying. Um, you know, last episode, you talked about transparency and accountability. Yes, and ma'am. that's what you, you really, you really push that. You say you're for that. Mm-hmm. But then you talk about, um, you know, budgets and you talk about uh, having the, the citizens for you things. And, you know, why, what my question was going to be to you before you even, you know, presented this, us with this was why should the burden of proof be on Joe Schmo. Why should the burden of proof be on a regular citizen to do these investigations? If you, if so, you said, mm-hmm. if you have allegations, this is what you said last podcast. If someone out there has allegations, mm-hmm. show me the bill, bring me the bill, show me mm-hmm. the evidence. But you know what? Mm-hmm. Who should be doing that? You, because you are the elected official. Why do you guys want to make us FOIA everything? Why the, do you guys want to make us do the digging? Why do you guys want to make us be in the the investigative reporters out here? I think with the context Why? of what you were talking about last time was it was was there was an allegation being made of something that didn't exist, and somebody was claiming that there was that there was some. But we don't know that it. But see, we don't know that it didn't exist other because than other that, because other here's than you know that, that doesn't exist. I'm not sure what I can provide. Well, but you know right. as well as I do when, when a public citizen goes to FOIA something that a, a, an administration doesn't want to hand over, you're not going to you're not going to get. We as the public aren't going to get that information. I can tell you that any FOIA request that we get, the county commission that I'm a part of. 
we make sure that it's turned around as quickly as possible yeah. once it goes on the legal Well, review. you know, all I'm saying is that the burden, we, the public, the taxpayers, if we have, you know, concerns that something is not being done correctly, or if we have concerns that, that our government is not being accountable or transparent, we sh it, the burden of proof shouldn't be on us to prove that. It should be on you guys that are that are the elected officials. I don't disagree, and, that, and that's why I've said you know, I, I would provide any document that we have. Mm -hmm. The only issue that I have, and I think this goes to the root of why people uh, you know, don't you – know, why people always – I don't want to say always, but when, when, when people have information that is not true put out there in the public, it, 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 so city it, council's it, just it, suing it, for, for it they, they, it's just, there's no reason that everybody's just making this all up. Is that, I, they're, they're not, I mean, they just retain an attorney they, because they have nothing to, it has nothing to do with the cost of the building. It has nothing. It, it had to do with the building permit. <clears throat> They retain, they, they retain legal due to the building permit there's, there's, situations. I, I believe they, if, if, if you, I wasn't at the meeting, but if you, if you look at it, it has to do with the, the, the citations that were issued to us. For the building permit, the age of the building, which again I've, I've demonstrated, at least we have evidence that isn't it mm -hmm. isn't 14 years old, um, and uh, something about the perimeter of the building and, and the space on, on where it is on the town's mm -hmm. property. It has nothing to do with the cost. It has nothing to do with the uh, with, with 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 the fact that it's unsafe. With the structure again, itself, I, I think what happens you know when there's not quality information mm -hmm. put out there is. When you do have good government that we uh, all want, yes, that we all want. When you have transparent mm -hmm. government that we all want, and then there's false information put out there, then 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 you don't get that good government anymore, because you, what? Know, you, you if you if if you're looking for if if you're look if, if if you're putting out information that is not true, if someone is out which here we didn't do that, I didn't say you all. I said you gave yes, people. Yes, we let people. To do yes, and we, well, will we do gave that. Uh, yeah. you know officials. I mean, we didn't give it to people who right. are just ancillarily involved it's it was it was a mayor with a real that are concern affected, and, and also right. now <laughs> city council members have talked to us with with real concerns and you know the way this works is we let people tell their stories and then we let them go then we let them go and in your case we wanted to hear your side and i'm so thankful because I, you know, I can see that, that you're very upset about it there's no other side and i'm glad present. that you came even though you're upset well, well we're you, happy you did I, get to I, say I, your piece i did lead with I appreciate the opportunity. Yes, and I and I truly do. And we're certainly glad you're here. But and, but I don't want you to think you that came. you have to come and clean up stuff because really it's not cleaning up. It's just it's just providing clarification and answers. And you know if people don't like your answers, you know then they can they can go and do the research themselves and you know come up is with there, their. Is, did they did they do a title search on that building or was it just you know like find out who had it before? Um, because if it says it's a year old, you know, did somebody else have it for a while? Or I, I would suspect I, I didn't ask if there was yeah. a title mm -hmm. search done right. or anything. Like I mean, I've, I've, you know, and honestly, I've I've seen a wide shot of the building. The building looks pretty good. I mean, it could have been remodeled or not, but that that steel is and and those. Um, yeah, there's no the foundation is is, and those is shims scary. Under, yeah. You know, between the steel which is bent in a lot of places and those cinder block posts which are spread out, it's not a you know it's not a real foundation. I, I, I just had concerns when I saw that. Easily, it's easy to jump to the conclusion that everything else we heard about that was true. Right. And I think you know the the, the issues that you just brought up are are addressed in here. And, and, are you and, leaving that for us? I can email you a copy. Yeah, that this would be great. Oh, great. Thank you. ScoopSquadWV so, at sure. gmail.com. Yeah. All right. We'll play and with again, that. And again, I appreciate having the opportunity to clarify. Well, and, we're not going to let this, that go this without was having not, your response. And this your was response. not directed yeah. at the show or you two individually. Okay. This, this is directed at a frustration of information that has been put out here uh, that when this aired uh -huh. and it started being shared, I got a lot of calls. I got a lot of emails. I bet you did. And that's fine. Yeah. But it was all based upon uh, false information. And, 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 you know, you can people, you know, can people trust that information? And I can, you know, I'll show them this. I'll show, it's just, it's a lot of, uh, it, it's a lot of frustration, not just on my part, but also our health department employees. Well, it seems and like our, that there's a lot of fr there's a lot of 
friction between the city and the county going on here, or the city and the health department. I mean, there's a lot of uh, politics at its worst. It is. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to wrap up. Yes, we're going to have to take a break. We went through two scoops just in this, but we feel it was worth it. So maybe we'll just do two scoops today, but you still get your money's worth. It's still going to be an hour show. So is there there a plan for the city and the county to come together and have and, and work on this? Or is there a meeting scheduled? Or I, what's the next we step? We have not been officially reached out to by the town. Uh-huh. Um, I have I've, I've asked a couple city council members to try to put something together where we can. Um, obviously trying to uh, resolve this outside of litigation is the best. Because um, I, well, I, th- I think that's, I think, um, according to some of the city council members who asked to be uh, remain anonymous that they don't want to antagonize you or the or the county commission and they do want to work together with you and that's all i want to do i want to I, and i, I think you guys it, you know listening to the guys i talk to and listening to you if you guys work together i think you can work this out oh i i, I know we can but when you, once you get attorneys and everything else involved it it, it grinds everything to a halt right okay but well, we're gonna have to go yeah hey thank you <laughs> I Thank can you. honestly say I appreciate, I, I, I appreciate this was uncomfortable. Well, that wasn't my intention. <laughs> well, no, it's I, that okay. Was, that was clear okay. in the air. And right. I, th- I think that being uncomfortable is is perfectly okay, and and it has to happen sometime for yeah. us to and, learn. And, and on commentator type shows, I mean, I'm not saying we're like what's on the radio, like like Rush Limbaugh and, and some of the others, but you know. We try not to be that way where we're always against, you know, the other party. Right. You know, we want to get the word out there. We want to let people tell their stories. And sometimes those stories are uncomfortable. And when they are in this case, which we could have just let this go. Yeah. You know, we wanted to reach out to you before that show was even done. It wasn't even in the can. I think yeah, we, were I after, will we were just after the first you. scoop. We thought we got to have Josh. But on. here's the thing, so Josh. I don't side. know what people are going to say when they're going to come on here. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to tell the city of Hamlin that they can't come on. You know what I mean? Until I know exactly what you're going to say. So I let everybody come on um, and the chips fall where they may. And it, here's the thing. Now people are talking about it. Right. And so and, something's got to get and done. Now this is where it gets resolved. When That's people right. Start talking. So we've got to take a break. OK. And. We'll be back to we'll talk right with back. the uh, Save Coonskin Park. Yes. Is that, is yeah. that what it's yeah. No, okay. it's Save Coonskin Park. With the exclamation, exclamation point. mark. Okay, All right, we'll be right sure back. I wasn't leaving a word out on that. <laughs> Thanks. With, with we'll, Mr. Severn. We'll be back in just a second. <laughs> the Scoop Squad Truth Squad would like to thank our sponsors, Those include Chris Walters at Integrity Insurance, featuring auto, home, life, business, workers' compensation, and pet insurance. Pet insurance, you say, that's health insurance for your dogs or cats that cover special foods, illnesses, surgeries, and medication. They're on 16 Capitol Street in Charleston at 346-9181 or reach them at www.iigwv.com. Also by Jody's Mobile Services, offering steam cleaning, pressure washing, fleet washing, and auto detailing. We come to you. They're at 304-437-3164. And also by Eggplant on Bridge Road. Anything but ordinary. Go to eggplantshop.com. Also by T-Graphics on the west side, 312 Buchanan Street, 345-4816. 345-4816. Go to tgraphics.com for screen printing and embroidery since 1984. Again at 345-4816. And you're back with the Scoop Squad Truth Pod. Um, that was a double that was a double dipper. So this is our last scoop. The last scoop was a double dip. Mm-hmm. This is the third and Although final I, scoop. We may have to like mechanically go in and do a commercial break or something. Okay, you know, we so, can do so that. We can get all the commercials in. I, that's why I love this podcast because we can just we can just talk. He, he may just have to fade it down somewhere in the middle of that. You know, when there's a a break and then yeah. just run the commercials. And, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, we're we're doing it on the fly because you know we're not because we're not journalists. <laughs> 
Let, let's get this straight. We are not <laughs> journalists. We're going to have to tag. That. That's going to be have to be our disclaimer from I'm now I'm not on. a doctor, but I've played one on TV. Well, I don't want to cut what we do here short. I mean, we yeah. are, you know, members of the media. And, and we, we invest, do we valuable, do you know, we do, invaluable, we do valuable investigative, you know, journalism, even though we may not be, you know, professional Certifiably. journalists as found on RS. But, I mean, I think that's, you know, one of the things provided to us by the First Amendment yeah. is that, you know, we are press. And, you do know, you we think do we're irresponsible? Intention. Do you think that was irresponsible uh, of us? Well, yes and no. Um, I, I understand Josh's frustration because you know, yeah. I'm a former city council member, and I can't tell you how many times I've gotten, you know, calls about a project yeah. where you know all the facts aren't out there and everything else. And so I understand that he's like, "Whoa, he's probably getting all this stuff," and not immediately knowing how to respond because right. he maybe not even heard well, the show I mean, before he, the calls are coming in. You know, but if you are stud- a student of communication, quote, journalism, this stuff was a lot worse, you know, at the turn of the century, the last century in newspapers. Everybody had a, everybody had an ax to grind and, you know, you had party A with their paper and party B with their paper. I mean, the, the, the horrible things in even the 1800s when when uh, John Adams was running against Thomas Jefferson was just horrible. I mean, th- and this was in print. So, you yeah, couldn't, so you, you couldn't, couldn't respond to it, it immediately, not immediately. And, you know, you had people that were pro Adams, pro Jefferson. Uh, and even when Alexander Hamilton was running uh, for office, I mean, they brought out charges of prostitution and right. being with a, you know, with a woman that was not his wife. And there was no way to respond to that. So I think we're a little more responsible than that. Yeah. But you if know, I, there were radio I mean, shows. Well, I had to walk him to the door and make this. sure we were still friends. And just, so, we are still friends. He has gotten a lot of, listen, politics is dirty. Um, politics is uncomfortable. Uh, when you are in an elected position, you do put a target on your back. Um, That's part of the job. Um, You should have to answer hard questions. You should have to, um, you know, work as hard as you as you can to make sure that you and your fellow elected officials are held accountable and as transparent as you as they can be. Um, So what part did you think we were irresponsible at? Of, well, right. no, I wouldn't say that we were responsible. I uh, you know, just wanted to say that I understand Josh's frustration. Yeah, that, I do, you too. Know, he wants to get out there, and, you know, he if he feels like, you know, mm-hmm. we're not getting the whole story, that he wants to limit this coming in. But then, well, again, I at think, the same time, yeah. you know, he's allotted the same or more time this right. week a lot. than what got out there He, yeah. he definitely you know, had as much last time week. as yeah. the, other people, the other two people did together. Well, and in his defense, there's, uh, you know, when I walked him to the door to make sure we were still friends, there's a lot going on in the, in the behind the scenes that, that we don't know about. Right. Like, well, it is Lincoln County. And yeah. I don't mean that in, in a director way, but I mean, we're based here in Kanawha County. Every and, county. And, well, Lincoln and, County like, has a, know, it, they do Duval, have a reputation. I think that Duval issue is probably worth exploring. I do too. Um, you know, so I do down too. there and maybe asking some questions about, you know, what they're doing in I terms agree. of, you know, putting those kids. I agree. I mean, we're talking, it's, I think it's K through eight they're putting at the Board of Education property yeah, and right. not, you know, their own school and or maybe right. farming some of those kids out to, to school. But I, can, let's, let's talk about Coonskin. Let's I can talk do about it. Josh and Bandits let's Baseball do it. and Lynn County all day, but I want to talk about Coonskin. I want to totally talk about Save, the, Save Coonskin. And so we've got Jeremy on here with us with Save Coonskin Park. Jeremy Severn. Jeremy right. Severn. And you, you grew up in Charleston? I grew up in Tornado. Oh, really? Yes. I grew up in St. Albans. Jeremy, so do me a I favor. Talk into the mic just like really super yeah, close. Yeah, these mics are not overly sensitive because gotcha. it's designed yeah. not to pick up a lot of background noise. So you grew up in Tornado? Grew up in Tornado. Okay. St. Albans High School graduate. Um, <gasps> oh, what, what year? year? Uh, 2004. Jinx, lock it. Uh, that's when my... 2004? I had, Holy I had two kids by then. Three. Sorry. Three, four kids. Sorry. Four, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes you know, you ask me that, num- that ask me the number, and I'm like, I don't know. Do I do, maybe I failed a little bit? In which direction do I go? Right. right. Yeah. Depends on who I'm talking to. Right. Yeah. Well, and how did you get involved? Yeah, in tell the us about state- that. Or, oh, or give goodness. us the background, the Reader's Digest version of the background of, of why we need, why we're in a situation where we, we need have to, to save, save Coonskin. Coonskin. Okay, our Save Coonskin Park organization really started up last fall. Uh, so it was September 30th. We are almost a year. Uh, from when the FAA published a notice of intent to um, prepare the EIS, Environmental Impact Statement, for the airport um, that would essentially 
it would not. I, I'll I'll be upfront too because there's been uh, in in a couple in a couple newspaper articles. Oh, I think it's, you've it's heard. Been, you can be as upfront as you yes. want in here. Oh yeah, Jeremy. yeah. After, <laughs> that, I mean, after Commissioner Stowers. After, 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 yeah. You don't even have to follow uh, FCC rules. Uh, yeah, right, right. Um, and and we're, we're pre- we can take it. The, the, uh, obviously, the, the 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 proposal would destroy a very large portion of the park. And let me go on record to say that it is not destroying the entire Coonskin Park. And nobody has no, ever, I've seen, nobody I've has seen ever the map, claimed right. that. Yeah, I've seen um, the map of the section. I, I, I'm the one who designed SaveCoonskinPark.com, even though I am not a web designer. I you know, t- took it upon myself to do that. And it doesn't take long you know, to get there and see what is happening to the park. So um, just just so, so people so, understand, I, I want to make sure they understand that the background of the airport wants to expand – runway if i'm not mistaken okay, the, the, to, for the, for safety reasons the the that's the that's the angle of this proposal is that for safety reasons they need to shift and extend the runway northeast into coonskin park okay is there another option that you know of or that they um, it, it could go southwest Right. Northeast if to it south. could go where northeast would, into Coonskin Park, southwest where would, the other side go? Uh, would go would go in. Uh, it would it would head it would head over top of Keystone Drive. Um, so it'd take a lot more fill to do that, right. wouldn't it? Well, it would take more. Okay, here's the oh, just get a little bit closer. Here's the here's the 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 the, 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 the thing that that comes along with it. So uh, let me let me back. I'm going to back yes. up. The, our organization started because a year ago the FAA said we're going to prepare this environmental impact study. We're going to do this environmental impact study. Um, and one of the first phases of that study was an open comment period for the public. And there was it was not it was publicized as legally as they needed to publicize that open comment period, but it was not publicized well. It was, you know, I don't think any public comment period is publicized well. Exactly. I agree. Exactly. It's, you know, a little, a little article in the paper and, Mm -hmm. you know, two days out and whatever. Uh, So the organization asked for an extension, which they did receive. They were hoping for a month's extension, but they got 10 days. So it was like, I think the original deadline was November 17, 2022, and it was extended to the 29th. And so that's when the organization really ramped up with um, some some outreach so the, the Facebook group started up the the outreach started to try to get as many comments on that open comment period mm-hmm. so then the open comment period comes and goes and then then the question becomes now what what can we do because we're what, what do we do to sit back and wait mm-hmm. for the FAA to to make a decision on whether does, whether or not does they're the going to approve the FAA through? have the final decision making authority for that extension yes so this this project is at this point a proposal from Jaeger Airport to the FAA asking for money to complete the project. Okay. So the, the F to the airport, I started to say Canal Airport, which <laughs> ages mm-hmm. me greatly. Right. Um, because it's probably been called Jaeger since you were born, I would imagine. Right. Or with, yeah. Since yes. the eighties, I think. Um, so the airport wants to expand and the FAA th- sees a reason to expand due to safety or is it more of a commercial enterprise? The angle is safety. Okay. D- lengthen the runway because it's not safe. Lengthen the runway and extend the safety zones on, gotcha. the, on, on each end. Okay. So what would happen if the airport authority um, takes that area of Coonskin but makes up for that by purchasing other land maybe on the other side of Coonskin so you still have an intact park but it just changes the shape of it or it changes it's, the, but no see what boundary. happens what, what what is happening in this proposal is that the all of the upper area of coonskin park turns into a mountaintop removal site it okay. is flattened it so is it's taken, an environmental issue it is taken it, it's it's so many i mean environmental yes I, 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 that's yeah that's on the list i get, the, I um, get that so you're taking you're taking three mountaintops basically <clears throat> excuse me you're taking three mountaintops and bulldozing them to fill in the valley. So right. if you've, ever, the if you've ever been, right, yeah. hundred foot valleys. Right. Okay. Now we're talking about a three hundred foot valley. Mm-hmm. So to, these are bigger valleys than the original. It would be just one valley airport. they're filling in. Okay. okay. But the, you know, people ask the question, where are they going to get that dirt? And the short answer is Coonskin. They're taking, they're getting the dirt from Coonskin. They're taking Coonskin Park and moving the dirt of Coonskin. 
Have into they told that. you which part of the park they're taking? Yeah, I mean, sure we know that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah I've, yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah, the yeah. map. Okay. So everything in that, in my case, I saw a red zone of, of where they're taking, uh, or that's marked in red on on the photograph of the area. Um, away, you know, coming out from the uh, from the runway is, is is that? Yeah, I mean, I can show I can show more. Yeah, we can put pictures can, on yeah, the Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I can, you, I can you send, send you some picture. stuff. Well, you can us describe, you know, sure, what's yeah. going on because I mean, I yeah. can. I mean, we you know, we would lose the Alice Knight Memorial right. Trail. So which you're losing the Waterfall and the Grotto. Yeah, Alice Knight yeah, Memorial Trail that. is um, uh, one of one of many. There's eight miles worth of hiking trails that are that are gone. Mm-hmm. There's uh, numerous shelters. There's there's walking. Basically, basically, what they are proposing is to take away the only green space in the Kanawha County Parks and Recreation System. Would they not replace it with other green space on the other side? Uh, well, there's no there's no other side. I mean, that's the oh, point. I mean, we've got... I mean, of course, we have green space all we over have the green, place. I mean, we have green space... I guess uh, Coonskin Park is connected to other maybe wildlife area that's not part of the park as, system. Could they not <clears throat> purchase that and just as, make it in a different direction? As the... If this proposal were to go through, you would you would come into the park from the Mink Shoals side. Now there's the new bridge. You, yes. know, you don't come in through the through the old way. Right. Um, you come in through the new way, and you would drive past the the golf course. You would uh-huh. drive past the pond, and that would be it. That would be it. Is done. You then hit the fill from the airport. Okay. Okay. So that's a lot. That is go, a lot. Well, I guess if you go on the other side of where. You I, can't I call that red zone because that's the because National it's Guard. Because clo- it's closed now because you so can't get in Guard. through that way because of the National Guard. It, right. And there's and no even place then, else and to you go. And you can't, you cannot, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, you can, you, can, you can provide mitigation funds all you want, but you cannot replace this mountaintop that you are removing right. from, you can't. You mm-hmm. cannot right. replace a mountaintop. I'm, I'm not saying replace it, but I know, you know, and I'm, I know, just, I'm just trying to play We're playing devil's, devil's advocate. Because like, sure. I don't have a dog in the hunt either way. Um but I'm, I'm thinking, how about the other side going towards, um, not towards Milk Shoals, but going towards Ilk, uh, Big Chimney mm-hmm. and so forth? Well, that's, uh, that's, that's what they're taking. It's all gone. I mean, would, they, would there not be other area past that that you no. could use? Okay. Huh. No. It's, uh, I mean, uh, you know, again, again to the map, it's, it's, over, it's, 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 it's approaching 500 acres worth of land that they are flattening. I see. Okay. To put into, to, to, you've got to have a lot of dirt, so, right? Yeah. So what are you... What okay, is your so process our, to try to stop yeah. our organization? Back to yeah, back to that. Our organization <laughs> then. Um, we wanted it, this. It, it is great that we're getting that we're getting this because it's it's over the past year. It's I've had so many conversations with people, and you say, "Have you heard about the airport's project?" And the answer when we first started was, "No, no, right. Nobody knew anything about it." Mm-hmm. And so, so we could have looked up one day and. Coonskin's gone. The fact that, yes, and that's and that's what they, I'm using air quotes, that's mm-hmm. what they wanted. That was the whole point. Who, who all was involved in the they decision? Oh, we don't have time for that. Okay. Um, I mean, what government? <laughs> are, you talking, are you talking about county, local government, state uh, yeah, government? Yeah, 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 yeah. All about okay. the federal government? Yeah, yeah yes. All, all, the of, FAA, all the above. The FAA all of them. is the, yes. Okay. Right. Um, is, is county it, commission on board with this? I don't. Yes. Okay. Um, county commission is... Uh, it would definitely be an economic boost, uh, so they're going to be in favor of it. Well, is it an economic? It's boost, not though? an economic. That's boost. Okay. tell well, us why, Jeremy. Tell but us that's why, what Jeremy. They've told us. If you read their proposal, if you read their proposal, the FAA. No, not the FAA. The County Commission. The, no, the the sorry, the, uh, the airport. Okay, airport the airport. Authority. It's, but it all circles back, of course. Mm-hmm. So, is it really the is it really the airport's proposal, or is it the County Commission's proposal? Who you know who whose is it? But uh-huh. on paper. It's the airport's proposal, right? Okay. If you read the proposal, it says it even I've even read in some FOIA documents that we've received that that this will not the length of this runway extension is only being extended by a couple hundred feet, will not allow for any larger planes to land that is already landing. That are already air. landing. What this project is doing is creating the safety zone at either end. Gotcha. But what it is also doing, which is not in the documents and is not a, a part of the official proposal is remember that mountaintop removal that I was talking about. Right. That's some n- new friendly real estate, and so that's that's you mean, the, you mean developable real estate sure, for right. industrial. So park? it wouldn't be is that what you're saying? That that part of that part of the mountaintop removal is not part of the runway safety. Right. Right. Okay. So they're taking additional that's so not necessarily be, for the safety right. zones in the airport. Right. 
It, well, but they, but they, but the point is, they have to take it to fill in the valley. Okay, gotcha. Now I'm getting it. Yes. So they're taking lots and lots of acres, but only certain, only so many and, acres are going to be used for the safety zone. The rest of the acres are used to fill in and make. I'm trying. Yes. Make it yes. safe. Um, so and then then but then so the point is the question is. Um, I was looking at the map. That's a good. That's a good one. Are, are you on the site? Yeah, I'm on your on site. The website? Yeah, I so wanted to look on, at your map. Keep on scrolling. Okay, beyond the map with the red yes. lines. Okay, on, you have a website. Yeah. What's the website? Safe Safe Park? Park. Park. Dot com. com. Okay. Okay. I see um, your photographs. Is that what you wanted me to see? Um, that one. Look at that. That shows you. So that that takes an aerial photo. And I saw this. You. This was on a, a new site somewhere. Right. It's 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 gotten out there. These exact same photographs. Um, what are you looking at, Ron? Tell me. What do you see? Let me show you the the picture. I don't have my glasses. Okay. What? I, so okay. What, what this is? What I, this isn't. This is an image that I've created. It's got. It's a three. It's a one, two, three. It, okay. it is a current aerial view of the ridge. Mm-hmm. And then it is a. Let's put oh, yes. the the the. So the airport has a pink and blue map that I've been calling it. Mm-hmm. Where the she pink. Can't see it. She doesn't have the pink glasses. is the areas in el- that are higher in elevation okay. than the runway. Okay. And that's so that's the what they're going to take that's what they're going to take truckload okay. and dump it into the blue okay because the blue areas on the map is lower i understand than the now map. yes and so it i overlaid that pink and blue on to the mountaintop okay I've, and I've then seen these, and then yeah. there's an artist rendering of that mountaintop removal that is then right above the elk river okay um, you know hmm. and, and and there's where we get into the environmental issues of so how do you think uh, what is your approach to try to keep this from happening getting people to know about it okay that's number one that's been the number one mission of of this organization all along is because again back to you you know we look up one day and kuskin's not there that was the goal Mm -hmm. that was the goal let's not talk about this let's and then if we do talk about it let's talk about it like it's a done deal Mm -hmm. right let's make people think that it's already a done deal we've already got the money and the Trucks are already here. But, but who can, I mean, do you have to go to court to stop this? Is that? I hope not. I mean, I'm just I saying not. if I the hope. FAA is says, well, no, 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 no. says this is a no, go. No, no, I hope the FAA will come back and say we're not funding this project. Right. But, and then, but should they say that we're going to fund the project, then is your next step to take it to court? Uh, the, the next step, y- y- yes. I mean, we'll, I'll, well, just, I'll F- leave it yeah. and we'll cross that bridge when we get yeah. there. If the FAA um, is saying that there needs to be safety zones. But the you, FAA, this is not the FAA's okay. project. It's the airport's it's project. The airport's and so the, the airport, airport is presenting is it as FAA. it. Okay. The so airport the is asking the FAA. FAA for permission to expand the airport. And they've already gotten money. it. For money to expand the runway. Have that, they already gotten it, Jeremy? No. Okay. No, that's the whole point. Okay. That's the whole point. And that's like, I'm, you know, it's, it's this, this past year has been all about. No, no money has been the FAA. The FAA, if, if you called the FAA and said, you know, what's the status of this project, they, they would say undecided. Undeci- I mean, so if the FAA does not fund it, it is a years long happen. environmental impact study that we are we are a part of right now. And what uh, the other thing that I've been telling people is that the Save Coonskin Park organization is inserting ourselves into that study. Because without the, the work that we've been doing with this public outreach and with and with the help of you guys and with the help of other media, um, it, we wouldn't have a petition of over 11,000 people. What is the uh, – go ahead and give us the website so we don't forget to do that. <laughs> SaveCoonskinPark.com. Okay. Uh, the, Say uh, it again. SaveCoonskin. <laughs> <laughs> SaveCoonskinPark.com. It's supposed to be SaveCoonskinPark. Three, 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 three times. Three times, right? right. SaveCoonskinPark. I can't, I can't do it three times in a row. SaveCoonskinPark.com. <laughs> There's four of us here. We can all <laughs> right. say it one time. But, we're done. I, I, you know, I, I want people to be able to go to the website. Uh, yeah. and, let me, and let me clarify that. We yes. had we had a, a petition – um, and we had we had a deadline to get people to sign the petition because then the next step is to we 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 sent a letter to over it was like twenty some snail mail letters mm-hmm. and then another email blast to mm-hmm. the total was like seventy five people just local local state federal politicians anybody mm-hmm. that had any kind of possible stakeholder uh-huh. in this um, one of whom was Commissioner Stowers. Um, because the Lincoln County Commission appoints members to the Central West Virginia Regional Airport Board. Okay. Right. And so the Lincoln County Commission, Boone County Commission, Putnam County Commission, Kanawha County Commission, Nicholas, the uh, Nicholas, Nicholas County Commission, those commissioners mm-hmm. all received, you know, that. And so then even, uh, you know, Mayor Goodwin received it. Not that she has a deciding factor in any of this, uh-huh. but just anybody who has. So you know, all of the, right. has all influence of the Kanawha County mayors. Yeah. The number one person that, um, 
that we not no no not all of the Kanawha County mayors. Um, okay. Because they don't all appoint have, someone to the board. Does right, the city right, of Charleston right. does, and so, all these county commissioners. Yeah, okay, I got you. Point yeah. someone there. Um, uh, the the mayor of Clendenin did because we're 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 up there. All right. You mm-hmm. know that sure. Way. Um, and there's a lot of um, there's a lot of signatures. Uh, That's Kate signatures. Summers, right? Yes. Yeah, I've yes. met her. Um, nice lady. Uh, my brain just left me. Oh, we were sure. talking oh. about government officials that were receiving the letter, right? Okay. The and letter. the board of directors. Oh, oh, oh. The number one recipient for that letter that we wanted to make sure we received it was uh, a- Andrew Brooks, who is the the uh, I, I can't come up with his title right off the bat, but he's the he's the guy at the FAA. Uh huh. Okay. He's the head guy at the FAA because does do the local people here know about the Save Coonskin Park movement? Yeah, they see the yard signs. Mm-hmm. How many signatures um, have you gotten? So oh, oh, 11,000, he said. Okay. So did you hear from this Brooks guy? Uh, I did not. Okay. I did not. But he got the... Um, but I also, in this first letter, in this first letter, we also did not invite a response. Okay. This first letter was a, we are making you aware mm-hmm. of the public outcry regarding this. Can I ask this you a problem. question? Sure. Okay, so there, there are two, there are, Political. There, there are people who are conservative. There are people who are liberal. There are people who um, associate environmentalists with the liberal, more liberal side of politics. Right? What have you? What has been your observation um, as far as this issue with both sides of, you know, conservatism, liberalism? Like, has what, it gone beyond party lines? Yeah. I'm just, oh, the, okay. What I've been saying is that this a is a very it. political issue, but it is a very nonpartisan issue. Okay. Right. Um, uh, you know, so you're back, seeing support from and back to and back to the thing that you brought up with the environmental. We have a lot of uh, liberal politicians who are running on this environmental ticket who are supporting a mountaintop removal in the capital city. You want to tell us who they are? Do you want to you want to bring me back? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bring you back. We don't. I don't think this, don't think this is over. Obviously. No, I right. would. I would love. Will sure. you come back? Oh, I'd love to come back. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. That's great. Um, yeah. The other. The other thing I want to make sure that we have time to talk about. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know how much time. I we think we've got about five. We got about. Okay. So and, I, this is enough time. This, yeah. um, this Sunday, October first, from twelve to five in Coonskin Park, we are we are hosting a rally. Okay. We are. We titled it, you know, "Rally to Save the Park." Um, is it? Is it, you know, a protest rally? No, it's not really a protest rally. It's more of a let's get together. Let's get together. Let's get all of these supporters and all of In these wonderful place. people who love Coonskin Park together. And we've got we've got some music entertainment. We've got um, we've got some games for the kids. And we've got uh, I, I, I and another one of the uh, um, folks from the organization are the best at like explaining the technical side of yeah. it and showing the maps and everything. So he yeah. and I are going to be stationed off to the side with some displays that we've created and the maps and everything, the things that, that you're, that we're looking at here. Okay. Um, so, uh, gosh, any th- chance I get to go to Coonskin, Coonskin Park? I'm there all the time. Yeah. That's the thing. They're going to be yard signs. Oh yes. Uh, I've seen I have, want, those things are hot commodities. I yeah, have, people want um, them. I carry, I, I always have five in the truck um, okay. because I run into people all the time, um, that need them. Uh, you can yes, we will have we're we've got a, a hundred hundred count box of yard signs in my garage that have not been opened. So, okay. so this is October. October this is Sunday, there. October first. At what time at Coonskin? Twelve to five. Okay. Um, Which you, shelter? You are welcome to come from twelve to five and stay Any the whole particular day. Which shelter uh, are you? It is it is at the Gorman shelter. Okay. Which, which would is, be gone. Which yeah, is at, that would be gone. Um, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. I know which um, one that is. It is, uh, well, how did, I, I, I brought up a, a, the press release that we have here. Uh, a, a, the Save Coonskin Park, the grass movements to protect Coonskin Park from Yeager Airports for Roosevelt will host a park in the rally October 1st at the Gorman Shelter in the heart of the proposed destruction zone to Coonskin Park. All right. Uh, yes. And so, and the, we chose that shelter. The parking is not best for that shelter. So I will say up front, you know, make sure, you know, carpool. It's okay. You can um, walk. Right. Yeah. It's a if, nice if, you're, walk. if you're capable of doing it, park at the bottom and walk. Yeah. Save the spots up at the top for the people who aren't. Um, but the great thing about that shelter is that you, when you're there at that shelter and the big field that's in front of it, yeah. you look up and you see the end of the runway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you see that light structure that comes yeah. that guides the planes mm-hmm. into the runway. And it's a very good visual. It's of, super cool. This would all, we be would gone. be standing be under... 200 vertical feet of rubble that's 20 stories right uh, uh yeah that, that would be that, that would be taken from up there yeah 
you know, and so this that that. And was, I run out Coonskin all. It's the most peaceful. Like, I live, don't, don't say that. I we think, don't want people knowing where you run. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think you started that. You started to ask I, I, right at the very beginning how I got involved with it, and part of part of that answer is I live right outside the park. Okay. Um, so that new entrance to the park yeah. was really great for me. Mm-hmm. And a lot yeah. of people may not realize that you don't go past the airport anymore where the National Guard area is. That's closed right. off. You can't right. go that way. Right. Uh, you have to go the other way. Uh, go up to the Ming Shoals exit and make a right as you pass. Go past, uh, turn right at the Ming Shoals exit, go up about a mile and yeah. make another right. Adam wants to ask a question. Well, before, 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 the before the rally, one more thing about the rally. Oh, we'll yeah. have some speakers. Okay. From two, I think it's two fifteen to th- th- three is that time. So the 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 main rally is kind of like two to three. Okay. With some speakers, um, we talked about the Alice Knight Trail. We're yeah. gonna have Alice Knight's son will be there. Oh, um, great! And he's either going to speak himself or he's gonna write something for somebody, somebody else on to his say. Behalf. Excellent. Um, and Alice Knight's daughter, I think, is going to okay. be there as well. Can um, Adam ask you a question before we wrap up, real quick? I guess so. Okay. Or we're gonna get killed. <laughs> no, we're just fine. Time. Well, no, I, you know, you did talk on something, and I, you know, I want some clarification on it because it's not something. I mean, it's something you know that I follow, but I either don't know or I can't believe that it's not. You know, we talked about the economics, you know, and, and what's going to happen, and you know, I think there's this idea that we're going to expand the airport and we're going to get you know JetBlue or Southwest to come in, or we're going to get all these new routes. Right. And, yeah. But you know, I haven't seen any talk of like any like said contracts to say, hey, if you expand the airport, no. you're going to get UPS direct jobs flights to here, yeah, to come or, in, or you're going to no, get a direct no. flight to Denver. No. I mean, are there is there any guarantees that no. we're going to get out of like if we expand the park, we're going to get X, Y, and Z economic impact? No, no, there's no there's no guarantee. The only guarantee in this project is the destruction of Coonskin Park. So we could there is tear no up the park and literally exactly. get nothing exactly. out. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Well, because listen, belief, I'm not going to lie. If, I'm there not going to lie. If I if I were able to get a direct flight. To Tulsa, you know, or places that's that not are, going to happen. Right, that's not going to happen. The demogra- the demographics, the, Charleston, West Virginia, does not have those partner cities mm-hmm. that other cities do. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we just don't have it. Yeah, because it, not only you've got to have you've got to have two things to get a direct flight to to another to another city. You've got to have enough people right to fill the plane on this side to go. Right. You've also got to have enough people on the other side to, to fill the to plane to come, to come back. Right. Right. And so that's not so going to happen. It so it's will probably not. coming down more of a of a safety argument if they right. know that there's yeah. not going to be a I mean, I, I've flown and in I mean, and out of that I, airport. I feel it's like not, it's, it it's been this way for years and years and years. Like it's there has been I somebody can somebody can come on yeah, next week and tell me tell me that I'm wrong. Yeah. Um, but I, I from what I've read, there was one plane that has ever gone off the end of the runway, uh-huh. and that was in 1979, and it was carrying a bunch of pot. Oh. Well, there's there was a and few so, years ago. Yeah, I mean, and I so, alive, but and I so let's story. talk That's about crazy. let's talk about I was alive. Let's, <laughs> I was, I was let's alive. talk about was that was that um, maybe pilot error? Uh huh. You know, we're way over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a, couple hey. of, a couple of years ago, a, 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 a commercial plane did go yeah. over the edge, over the side, the right. side. Over not the, the end, not the end, not the end. Expanding. I yeah. Expanding so not, it's not going to um, fix that problem. It's not going to fix it, that right. Okay. All right, we got to yeah, go. We got to wrap up. We, Ryan is we're gonna, telling you me. You need to find us on, on Facebook, yes. Twitter, mm-hmm. YouTube, mm-hmm. other other social media. We're going to have if, an Instagram if, account. Yeah. If, if I could, if you would have me back um, yes. sometime soon, please. I would love to talk about something we didn't get a chance to talk about today is some of the land ownership. Okay. Um, of of the park and who owns what and I, I'd, I'd like to get into well, that. Well, you've got yeah. it. You've got it. You have yeah. got it. With that, You have our word. You will come back. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, Ron, thank you. Well, thank you. Adam, thank you. Thank you, oh, Adam. For Ryan, thank you. Back you. Thank you for me. putting up with me, Ryan. Thank our guests. And we will talk at you next week, Charleston. Stay tuned next week for, uh, you know, hope I hope it's a, a little calmer of an <laughs> environment next week. Because, well, you know, with all the exclamation points around here, I just right. don't know what well, to do. Well, calm doesn't make good radio. I'm going to go home and take a nap. Hey, we'll talk at you next week, Charleston. See Thanks. If you would like to... Tie your business with this popular podcast. You can contact me, Ron Hughes, to advertise at ron.hughes, R-O-N dot H-U-G-H-E-S at wvradio.com. Or you could call me at 304-342-8131. The Scoop Squad Truth Squad would like to thank our sponsors. Those include Chris Walters at Integrity Insurance featuring auto, home, life, business, workers' compensation, and pet insurance. Pet insurance, you say? 
That's health insurance for your dogs or cats that covers special foods, illnesses, surgeries, and medication. They're on 16 Capitol Street in Charleston at 346-9181 or reach them at www.iigwv.com. Also by Jody's Mobile Services, offering steam cleaning, pressure washing, fleet washing, and auto detailing. We come to you. They're at 304-437-3164. And also by Eggplant on Bridge Road. Anything but ordinary. Go to eggplantshop.com. Also by T-Graphics on the west side. 312 Buchanan Street, 345-4816. Go to tgraphics.com for screen printing and embroidery since 1984. Again at 345-4816. Rebroadcast, retransmission, or transcription is not permissible without the expressed approval of Scoop Squad Truth Squad. Copyright 2023. The opinions expressed on Scoop Squad Truth Squad are those of the hosts and the guests, not those of WVRC Media. The Scoop Squad Truth Pod is copyright 2023 Scoop Squad Truth Squad LLC.